What's that for? Um, it's the key to my chastity belt. Just kidding. It's for my ball gag. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. The term ball gag brings two images up in the mind. Oh, yeah, it does. Wow. Uh, I'm Rick. Uh, are you now, though? Yep. I am. Last time I checked. Barely, though. definition uh today we got a new trailer a new one uh vj sarapathy uh um film it's called sorry if i mispronounce this because more than likely i will uh manathan um and it's a music by raja sir ah and let's see i that i don't know any it's not i don't think it's this big one like the do, 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 with Samantha that's uh-huh. been supposed to coming out for like seems like ever now. Yeah. Um, I think it's a more indie one, but I could be wrong. Uh, you guys, but if you haven't seen our uh, review of his his last film, The, the Last Farmer, which I think he produced uh, and obviously starred in, please go watch that. And go watch the film. It's a fantastic piece of cinema. Yeah. Uh, really, really, good really, movie. really enjoyed that film. Um, but uh, let's just check this one out. Where did we last see her? I don't know. Recently. I feel something bad's gonna happen. I'm intrigued. Interesting. Yeah. It almost felt Malayalam. It did. I know, obviously, they were in Kerala for a little bit, obviously, because of the, the boats. It looked definitely Kerala. Yeah. Um, But I thought it was a Tamil film. If I miss thinking that, please let me know. Very intriguing. And obviously, with him being in it, my interest level is way high. Telugu. It's a Telugu film. Great. Uh, but it, it's uh, translation is great, great human hmm. uh, for him. Uh, an upcoming Tamil drama written by blah, blah, blah. So Also, if uh, Rajasar did the background music, 
Yeah, I was gonna. That was epic. Beautiful for yeah. just that little bit amount of time. The, um, the music was very. I don't know pretty. if he did it for the the trailer because obviously, just because you composed a film doesn't mean you did the music for the trailer. Yeah. Um, but if he did, whoever did it, uh, it was a phenomenal job. It looked really interesting. It gave me almost. He's he's almost looking like maybe it's just the big mustache Mohanlal. He's looking. He's giving yeah. Mohanlal vibes in it very much. Um, directed by. Uh, oh, Sinu Ramasamy. And I love the log line. It's very nice. Not doesn't give much away. Yeah. What would we just That's saw her, her right? in something? Yes. It's this, right? Uh the wife. Was it super deluxe? That was a long time ago. Yeah, I felt like I've seen her in something very recently. Yeah. CG Sadapathy Gernzin. Okay, so it has her as the lead, so it's her. Say her name. Uh, Gayatri. She looked familiar. Oh, yeah, we've seen her. Vic, she's in, obviously we haven't seen Vikram because it's not out yet. So it was deluxe, super deluxe. Almost... Uh, uh, what about TV? Mm. Huh, it must have been super deluxe. I felt like we'd seen her much, much uh, more recently than that. Yeah, she's just got one of those faces, I suppose. And so does John. He's got one of those faces as well. Ha <laughs> ha. Of the concords, um, I, I didn't know, <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah, it looked really good. I uh, like it, looks super intriguing. Like, it's and it, it, like I said, when I say it gave me like Malayalam vibes, not just because obviously the setting it was in, the fact that it, it kind of just wasn't giving you exactly what was going to happen. It almost felt like the proverbial shoe was about to drop, yeah, a lot of times and coming, and like so. Obviously, they weren't going to tell you obviously exactly what was going to happen because mm -hmm. obviously you, you shouldn't in a trailer. Um, and so it it, gave, it felt very Malayalam in in how the trailer was kind of put together. Um, uh, and and he, I was obviously he's a he's a fantastic actor. Yeah, he is. Uh, and I I'm li I like a lot, and I know we've seen very little of him, but I like his choices. Mm -hmm. It seems like he likes to make really because he's a, he's a superstar, mm -hmm. right? Just like uh, the all the other VJs and, and and people like that. But it seems like he likes to choose because I normal obviously we don't know them very well, but like bigger stars don't normally choose to do a role like he did in Super Deluxe. No. It's not like it's well, dangerous. Somebody, somebody that's just concerned with stardom don't don't normally do roles like that. No. Somebody who really likes the craft. Exactly. Because most actors that love the craft are also very interested and care about the human experience and human beings and why we are who we are and what to learn from that and are empathetic and want to know what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. And that's the main trait I would say about him is that all of his stories and his characters are deeply human. Everything is rooted and grounded in this very real human struggle that the characters are dealing with in some way, shape or form. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, those are wonderful, wonderful artistic choices to make, always. Um, and I'm super interested in Vikram because one, I know that cast, yeah, is just I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, how long has it been since? I, so I know this is not a Vikram thing, but how long has it been since v Kamal has come out with a film? Good question. I feel like it's been a minute. A, tri a tribute? No, that's not a film. Short special thanks producer. Visual sorry two. So twenty eighteen. Four years. So before we were on the yeah doing now the he channel. hasn't done a film since we've been doing OSR. Um, interesting. How has his career trajectory been since he's gotten older? Because obviously it has because um who 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 is it um. Scarface. Pacino. Yeah, he's had a weird career. <laughs> he has. He's almost on the Jeff Goldblum, like, he's like, he was known as this amazing, and he still is, obviously, but he's gone to, like, weird roles now. Yeah. Maybe he just doesn't care. He's like, I have enough money, and I just want to I'm do not something. sure what's, yeah, it's very strange to look at Pacino's. I, De Niro's is, is um, more um, <laughs> grounded, I think. <laughs> yeah, but he's also, I mean, not as weird as, obviously, 
him because he's always tried to do some comedy and different stuff. Yeah, he's like, you meet the fuckers. Yeah. Me, yeah. like he's done. He's he's a well-rounded actor. As well. He is he's sort of one of the greatest actors of all time. Well, and even though I didn't like it that much, both of them did really, really well in Scorsese's Irishman. The Irishman. Oh yeah, the, the, the performances um, weren't the problem. But. There's also people who were legends and then just went off like whoosh, in different like Brando. Yeah. Brando just like once he got into his forties, it was like bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not saying that obviously that's come all the time. No, no, I just, no, no. I just, no. I just, I, just we at, I don't think we've seen anything of him. No, older, and really. isn't he quite active politically? I don't know. I thought he is, that that's very important to him, that he actually was running for office at one point. Oh, did he? Yeah, I, I think that's very important to him. And also, you get he may just... be, and hasn't articulated it, he may be where Jim, Car Jim Carrey is. Yeah. Where if you haven't heard what Jim Carrey said about making movies and stuff, he said he's probably going to retire because unless somebody brought a script that was like gold, he said, you won't hear a lot of celebrities saying this, but... I have enough. I've done enough. I am enough. Yeah. So he's achieved what he wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. And it's like the same thing with Daniel Day Lewis. I, I, I think he could come back, but it won't surprise me if he's gone because he's done all he wanted to do in the art form. Now that could change. And I don't know if that's the case. It's just is intriguing as to what it is that would make someone as talented and previously, in all aspects, in all aspects, and previously, uh, so prolific in the amount of work that was being put out to just he he just may be satisfied, maybe he's tired, maybe he's had health issues. I'd like to know why though. Yeah, I really would because he's he's a, an incredible. I mean, the talent. reason we're talking about him is because obviously he VJ is in the VJ's Vikram film, in the Vikram of, film. Um, but that's why. But anyways, let yeah. us know what you thought about this. What should be our next VJ film? Uh, please let us know down below. Just...